Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we're going to talk about something that obviously doesn't apply to everyone, but applies to, I feel like, the majority. And the topic is divided up pretty much in different categories. It's pretty much if you think someone's prettier than you, or if you think someone's more successful than you, how you deal with it. So there's different ways of dealing with it, but I've noticed that a lot of times people tend to put other people down if they feel threatened by their success or their beauty or whatever. First scenario, I remember being at work and there was this new guy that, that everyone thought was really good looking and very attractive. So when they found out his fiance is going to work there, they were pretty like disappointed because like, man, so he has a fiance and to make matters worse, for some reason, they thought that he had to have like this job dead gorgeous fiance according to them a good looking guy has to be a good looking woman no just because he's taken and i guess she doesn't fit their standards of who he should date doesn't mean you should put her down okay so then we have the next thing here i remember when i broke up with my boyfriend that was the one who broke up with him uh like about 10 months after um one of my friends told me that he started dating again which i was fine with because i was i literally the one who broke up with him so I was like, good for him. And my friends were like, oh my god, but you look so much better than her. You're so much prettier. I mean, at that moment, I was like, oh, thank you guys. But if you think about it, we're putting his new girlfriend down to make me feel better. Another thing I've noticed is like small YouTube channels tend to not get as much hate as the bigger ones. I don't know why. It's like the bigger you are, the more hate people get. Same with Instagram and TikTok and stuff. The more fame you get, the more people are going to see your channel. So that means a lot of people are kind of either like it or dislike it and there's i feel like there's always has to be like a troll that is just like you suck your channel sucks and stuff just to make you feel bad because they're jealous of your success maybe they don't like your content i'm like if you don't like the content just you know instead of leaving a comment just bye bye don't you don't have to watch no one's forcing you to i feel like people should only watch if they want to if you think my video is boring for example you can you know, just, just leave. You don't have to leave a comment. You don't have to leave a dislike. On the internet, another thing that a lot of people put others down is for their looks. There's, of course, a lot of supporters are like, go girl and stuff, great job. And, but some people that feel insecure, they say, uh, great, now you make me feel even worse in my body. Like they're blaming the person that is like fitter than them for feeling bad about themselves. If you feel bad about yourself, either start accepting what your body or do something about it don't blame others for your misery you know the other thing is that a lot of people tend to forget about the internet is not everyone looks like they do on video or on their instagram or tiktok and stuff i try to stay really natural on my channel so i don't really wear makeup the only thing i do is sometimes mascara or a little lipstick or sometimes eyeshadow that's just how i like to present myself as raw as possible i guess so i also don't have to deal with like oh my god she looks different in real life and stuff i mean yeah obviously makeup makes you look different that's why we wear it in the first place right so the shock factor like oh they look different in real life i'm like yeah obviously because there's filters there's photoshop there's um makeup so they're not always going to look flawless the other thing a lot of people tend to forget is people will usually only post stuff they feel comfortable with so videos pictures whatever you name it that they feel the most comfortable with so let's say if i felt like ugly on a certain day and i just was like oh i feel fat i feel disgusting do you think i'm gonna post a picture of that mm, no another important thing you should remember is if influencers pop stars you name it wouldn't feel insecure in their own bodies why would they use all this makeup this filters photoshop all that's good stuff if they already feel comfortable in their bodies they do it because they want to make like meet up to the beauty standards themselves so at the end of the day the person that you might see on the internet is not even the person in real life and they would like to look like that but they don't so you're trying to be someone that doesn't even exist you usually just see the perfect picture but they don't look like that every day there's so many pictures on the internet i, I think i'm gonna blend some in just to like have a backup of what i'm saying that prove that people don't always look like that in real life so my lesson for of this video to you or for you however you say it would be do not take everything serious on the internet just because something looks really good like it's too good to be true it usually is so it's like products it's a cheap price and the product seems to be good 
don't post the products, read the reviews. Take care, do your research. Don't feel insecure about others because you should love yourself. And if you feel insecure about them, instead of hating on them, how about you just either distance yourself from them or you just say, okay, you look like that, I look like this, it's fine. How about you just don't compare yourself to others? I know it's not as easy as you think it is. I've been there, I've compared myself to others, I felt crappy about it which is why I do not follow people that like, I don't know, always look flawless and stuff. I support their idea, that's fine, but I don't wanna be reminded every day that I don't look like that, you know? Like I'm fine with who I am. I don't have to like compare myself to, usually like makeup, filters and stuff. Of course, there's also drop dread gorgeous people out there without all that stuff, but pretty rarely to find on the internet, at least, not in real life. That should be the message of the day. Be nice to each other, don't always hate on each other, and if you feel like hating, just, just walk away. Anyways, thanks for watching. Have a great day and I'll see you next week.